Neighbor, welcome to your double bonus video for career and intimate tarot reads. It's so nice to switch into these and just cover those different uh, energetic areas of our lives that are just as important as a general overview. Which is to say, all that to say, it gives me a break. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Christina, real person, real tarot. I also have real experiences too, okay? So I tend to be very colorful in my expression. But if you vibe with me, if you're into it, please do let me know. All right, what's going on? Oh, we're going to start with career tarot, but your career and intimate tarot readings will be clearly timestamped. So if one's not of interest to you, you can jump on over to the next one. Okay. All right, let's start with career, Libra, career, Libra. What's going on? Show me. Show me, Libra. Current. Font energy. You might have some torsion in your chart. Could be dealing with one. Very structured work environment. Playbook energy. Everything is done a certain way. Everything is done a certain way. Down to the last detail, there's a code for it. <laughs> Pretty much, you know. It represents inflexibility and a very strong hierarchy of standards and expectations. Things that have always kind of been this way. And they will always be that way. Alright, what's your advice, please? Strength. Mm, some of you are chafing against the system. <laughs> Take strength. <laughs> Take strength. Ah, Leo energy. Use it. Some of you are like, I really hate this structured environment. <laughs> I hate the rules. I hate the playbook. Everything's scripted. There's no room for flexibility here. I mean, again, because the hair font's lovely, don't get me wrong, but when it comes to the work environment, it says everything has a place and every place has a thing. Right? There is a reason for everything. There's a rhyme for everything. Don't deviate from the norm or the structure. Okay. Current energy says, Lord, give me strength. <laughs> Lord, give me strength. You gotta play by the rules. What's going on? Strengths, please. Tower and you are conflicting with it. Oh my, you wanted to shake some shit up. Well, that's some interesting... Oh, honey. You very much want to make change, very much so. It's like you're chafing in the box structure here that you do not care for. There's something here you very much want to need strength for to either leave employment or to make some sort of impactful change that tests the rules that says I need to expand. Libra says I'm trying to expand in my role and my work environment and I feel like I'm constantly prohibited, put down, talked down to, or I'm discouraged from expanding or really utilizing my talents and skills and you want a vast demonstration of the opposite. Whoa. Okay. Issues. Blind spots. You're tired. So this is not a blind spot. This has been ongoing. <laughs> Like, there's no room for you to express yourself or your opinion is not welcome. Something like that. <clears throat> Excuse me. The future, please. Four of Wands. Let's hopefully that can ease up a little bit. Okay. Four of Wands. Let's see if we can ease those tensions a little bit. Okay. Some of you are coming from an intuitive place at this time. The Queen of Cups. How you feel about your work environment or your employment or whatever is important to you. So you want your feelings or an idea is taken into consideration. What is going on that is like you are chafing against this, this structure, you know? Show me this hair font, please. Show me the hair font energy, please, for Libra. Oh, some of you are the boss, by the way, and you hate re reinforcing the, let's see, we want more productivity here for some of you. You see a way of more productivity and you're having to show a lot of patience at this time. Some of you are in the boss mode and you have to reinforce unpopular guidelines and structures. You would like to see expansion too. That's for some of you. Show me what I need to see, please. Show me this hair font energy, please. For Libra. You want to feel more natural, more like yourself, more creative. To be able to express yourself more. Show me the hair font, please. Current situation for Libra. Show me that hair font energy. Knight of Pentacles. Six of Wands. Slow going recognition. Slow going recognition and what? Slow going success. Slow going achievement. How so? Uh, something about starting over here. There is some slow going success here. 
Going back to the drawing board, there's something about starting over here that does not vibe well with you. I don't know what this is, but somebody's saying this is the way it has to be. Okay? It's slow going. I'm making strides in success and achievement. Could be you. Could be your work environment, but it's like the pacing's so slow. You are seeing some success, but it's at a snail pace. Knight of Pentacles. There is some recognition here of success, but in somebody's mind, it ain't enough. Mm. It's like we're taking steps backwards, not forwards. And you're wondering if the whole thing is in a bunch of bullshit. With the Five of Swords to the Three of Pentacles, oh my. You don't know if you can trust this. Whatever this is, it's like it's like you're questioning the principle of the thing with the Three of Pentacles. That's the bare bone structure of starting anything out. It's like you're questioning even the bones of this structure. Why does it have to be this way? Why? Why? If if this is the way it has to be, then how come it's not more successful? How come I'm not seeing more evidence or proof of results here? I, I don't I don't trust the I don't I don't trust the foundation of this decision. I don't. How come how come achievement and success and recognition is coming in so slow? Why? 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 Why does it have to be like this from the very beginning? Why did we have to start over? Something like that. There's a kind of resentment here about the pacing of so-called success and achievement and somebody's structured career pathway, possibly work environment, yours. It's like, yeah, 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 yeah. There's some achievement here. There's some recognition. Good. Good for you. The point is, it feels slow. <laughs> Damn, Lever. It feels slow. Why does it have to be this way? Why does it have to be? I don't, I don't think I trust this. I don't trust the premise. I don't trust the premise of this. I don't trust the premise. It's moving too slow. Uh, it's moving too slow. Great. I got some whoop de doos here. I got some pats on the back. Why? Why is it like this? Why does it have to be? The Three of Pentacles suggests careful structuring so that other things can develop. Okay? Or you have a, a problem with the premise from the very beginning. With this Three of Pentacles. You know, let me know if that makes sense to you. But from the very get-go, either being hired, going part-time to full-time, Something about the careful plotting is leading to some recognition success, but not nearly enough, and you think that there's some sort of what should be questionable thoughts here uh, about the pacing and the income attached to it and why is it taking so long to get movements or stride in something, right? Somebody is insisting upon a careful pathway. I have every reason to believe it's you. But there's something here about, I don't, I, I don't trust the premise of this. The rewards are way too slow. The recognition is way too slow. Strength. Lord, help me. Give me strength. Show me strength, please. Your advice is to be strong. <laughs> Continue on possibly in this investment. All right. Be strong. I see what you want to do. <laughs> you want to shake shit up, right? Make it move a little faster. Poke it. Prod it. I got you. Show me something. Speed it up. Strength, please. <laughs> is the advice. Yes. What? Yeah. Uh, part of you kind of wants to end it. It's moving along so long and it's so hard to see the truth of the thing. Okay. All right, there might be some energy attached to you here. Show me strength, please. Okay. The Queen of Wands. You don't feel too good about this. You don't. Your game face energy in career. This King Queen of Wands is always great in career. I love seeing them in career. That's our ambition. That's our game face. I am the expert. I know what I'm doing. Right? It's that sense of security that make other people feel secure in the work environment. And that's wonderful. That's under the moon. It's really hard for you to show ambition towards this. You don't feel the fire for this. It's under the moon. You don't have any drive for whatever this is. I can see you have distrust elements attached to it, particularly in regards to the pacing and outcome. How come you're not seeing enough fruits of the labor, enough recognition, enough reward? Somebody's insisting here, I believe it's you, but it could be outside of you that says this is the way it has to be. I'm doing something here. I'm working up to something. I'm building up to something. And then that, that, that drive you have for this is under the moon. You don't have drive for it. You don't have ambition for it. 
you're not supporting this, you don't trust it, there's a pacing here. Either you feel like your recognitions and awards have been denied and thus that has affected your output, your energetic output that suggests that you are passionate about this and that you're engaged in this. No, right now you're showing strength to stay in this for something you don't feel terribly engaged in. And I can see why in your mind the reward system is not meeting the reality. Okay, uh, that would make sense and that would be enough to put anybody off. The tower, the strengths please, show me the strengths please is the tower. Are you willing to bring about radical un uh, change if you're this dissatisfied? Okay. Show me the tower, please. Five of Wands. Putting it off. Why? Are you fighting for change? Are you advocating for change? Are you fighting for change? Are you fighting for change? Not quite. Not quite. Four Swords, King of Pentacles. Not quite. I believe you are advocating for change. You might even be pushing for change, but it feels like there's an element tied to you that's kind of out of your control at this time. Okay? I believe you're advocating for change, but the output is quiet and calm. King of Pentacles is here. It's kind of saying... It's kind of like a quiet knowing about the practical thing to do the right thing to do, the steady thing to do, the stable thing to do. This is a quiet, calm energy that suggests that it knows what it's doing. Okay? I've given it a lot of thought. I've given it a lot of meditation. And yes, we desire radically for change. Okay? I feel like you're advocating for change, Libra. I do. I, I feel it's like I need shit to shake up. It's not enough here. I'm not enthused about this. If we can't change it, this actual structure, whatever this is, then can we move on from it? Somebody, and then the energy response, it's either you from within you or outside of you that says, calmly speaking, practically speaking, I've given this a lot of thought and meditation, radical change isn't where we need to be right now. Stability is the name of the game. We're cultivating, we're building something here, i got to stick to it. Hence why you're showing strength or that your advice is to continue to show strength. You may not feel much for it with the Queen of Wands under the moon, but you can still continue to show strength for it. So there might be some partnership energy here. Or you're in a position where you need to support your partner in a career move that you may not be too terribly enthused about. Okay? Um, but mostly I see it coming from with you. You are trying to forcibly calm yourself. Okay? Um, that you can still see the good in this, that you can still produce from it. Again, King of Pentacles is production, resourcefulness, okay? Uh, we need to calm down, okay? Let's calm down. We're not feeling enthused about it, but we to stick to it for right now. Things aren't coming in as fast as I would like, but still i got to stick to it. Hence, the Nine of Wands, please, is the ongoing issue about that coin, about the work. Okay, do I continue? Okay, Nine of Wands. It's an ongoing issue. You're chronic. You're tired of fighting. <clears throat> Excuse me. About that coin. Dead end. Is it a dead end job? Okay. Is it a bad job? Nine of Wands, you are exhausted in the general sense. Okay. Knight of Cups, you just want to feel better, but it's hard to feel better through all the noise and the repetition of action. Okay. For some of you, you are terrified that you're going to miss other opportunities if you continue to fight for one that you don't care for. That's valid, Libra, that's valid. I'm not saying that's real or that that's happening, but it's a valid concern you have that if you continue to fight for an opportunity you don't particularly feel very good for, you're going to miss out on other opportunities that you could be applying to, right? Five of Cups is still missed opportunity. I don't want to miss out on other opportunities that might feel better, but I got to keep fighting for this one, at least for the time being. I got to keep bringing it together. I still got to show up and clock in, you know what I'm saying? Okay, but you don't want to. Let's make that clear. Okay, the four of wands is the outcome. I got it. I got it. You have no enthusiasm for this, but you're continuing to show strength to either this particular position at this time because you feel you have to, because it's the practical thing to do. It's the calm thing to do. Yes, you want to shake shit up, but now may not be the time. You might need more stability. Or if it's a surrounding person, you don't particularly care for their career moves. But they have a calm reassurance that I know what I'm doing. Something like that. Okay. 
We don't want to miss out any more opportunities, but we're also exhausted fighting this particular thing. Four of Wands, please, is the outcome. Some of the Four of Wands, please. Hopefully we can ease up and we feel better. Hopefully we start bringing things together. Four of Wands, please. Some of the Four of Wands, please, is the outcome. Okay, so you may not know it. Six of Swords to the Sun, okay? You may not know it. For some of you, you may be relocating. You might be relocating households. A place you've known for a long time, back home. Some of you are really relocating households, I'm sorry. Into a space that makes you happy. It doesn't seem to be employment. Can I get more on the outcome of this, please? Uh, no, no, we can't do all that. I'm not pulling 10 cards, that's ridiculous. No, narrow it down. You will be traveling on into calmer waters, but something that feels more like home to you or where you feel more at peace and you're not fighting as much. I don't know where this coming from and what that's the change you want to make. If you cannot get what you want, I believe you're going to go towards what you want. <sighs> In the meantime, you're not making a move. Not yet. Tower. The work. I believe you're going to get what you want. You want to change? Now's not the time. Your biggest concern is missed opportunities. There's going to come a point in time where you, the thing you resisted from the most is what you're going to move towards in the future. There will be radical change in your happiness. Yeah, for some of you, it does literally involve relocation. Um, there will be a changing of jobs, I do believe. You do seem to be moving. You're very happy. You're literally moving into your happiness. So this was the radical shakeup you were looking for in work. So don't play your hand just yet. All right, you can't play that hand just yet. I know the inclination in you is strong, and here's the thing, honey, the more you don't see change that you want, stay your hand for now. It's the practical thing to do. You will transition when it's time. All right, but it is going to happen. I see you delaying the tower, but advocating for it simultaneously, which tells me you're trying to advocate for change in the employment area. You're not seeing the results. Continue to show strength, even though you don't have enthusiasm for it. Now's not the time, practically speaking. Um, I know you're tired of this idea of missed opportunities. You want to move forward into the sun. That just seemed like a radical shakeup in work, okay? For some of you, there will be relocation, literally, of households, okay? Intuitively, some of you already know this. Uh, I do believe you're going to get what you want. I do believe so. It looks like heavily changes upon you, so keep holding out for how long, I don't know. Let's, let's speaking of which, let's do that. When, oh, there you are, right there under there. When is there a good time for transition, please? The movement does seem to involve household as well. But it makes you happy. There's that radical shakeup in work you're looking for. I do believe you're relocating for work. Now's not the time, though. When will the timing be right? When will the timing be right? When will the timing be right for this transition? When will the timing be right for this transition, please? High Priestess, you have to use your instinct. That's an intuitive knowing. Only you can define that. Okay? Only you can define that. But it will listen to your instinct about the sun, what's calling to you. Some of you will not get that call until summertime or Leo season. Some of you, I have to say this, are moving back home. Some of you are moving back home. It makes you happy. It makes you feel at peace. Swords in reverse. Why? What have we not realized yet? Some of you haven't fully realized how uh, 
we haven't invested enough in that Eight of Pentacles yet. That's one of the things that's delaying. That would also explain that tension of why you're afraid of missing opportunities. If you want to speed this up, it's a truth you have not realized yet. You need to show more investment into other work opportunities. Eight of Pentacles. It's time back to this. There will be a radical shift in employment and some of you are moving back home. Some of you have not come to terms yet with investing in more work opportunities or how little you feel for your current work opportunity. Some of you, it's August. Mm, Queen of Swords, there you are. You have to make the decision. If you want change so bad, it's on you to generate it. Okay? So there's something here about the work piece. Investing more time into change with a fortune. You want change so bad? Make the time. Okay? Make more of the time. I understand that there's a delay factor here having to do with the practicality. Um, for some of you, you are parting ways with a partner in order to pursue your own dreams. Mm -hmm. I can't say that's not true. I keep seeing it as a side attachment that's falling off. So, there you go. For some of you, it is a side attachment that is falling off. I, I don't mean to be crude or crass. It's just literally how I'm seeing it in my vision. It's, there's someone near you, and they go like this. Okay? Part of that is the radical shakeup in order to pursue your star you are going, or prepared to make, or you're trying to prepare yourself to make radical changes. I've seen the tower for you three times. Some of you will be moving back home minus one person in order to pursue your career. I'm sorry. I can't. I can't. Or you're moving into your own sun. Even if it's not a relocation thing, you're moving into a peace, a, a state of peace and tranquility under the sun. So even if it's not a physical movement, you're literally moving towards your sun as you pursue radical change in work and in some aspects of life. But if it means adopting the star, you're going to do it. Um, you had the tower three times, honey. Part of you, Ling's, there's, there's this temptation in you to stay quiet. It's not practical. There are timing elements here. But there's something here that speaks to, I'm so used to, as a matter of habit, missing opportunities chronically. You know, I, I miss opportunities all the time, and I don't want that to happen again. So if you want change, you need to generate more of it. There are times when you push on the tower. There's times when you prevent the tower. I just know that your energy radically wants change, and eventually it's going to fully adopt it, too. That's really powerful stuff, Libra. You're really coming into your sun. Radical change here. But yes, I'm, I am seeing what looks like a, a second that keeps falling off the peripheral of my vision. That's for some of you, not all of you. Can I get stronger? <sighs> July, August. For some of you. When the sun is highest in the sky. For some of you, have... Okay. Just like I said, should be complete by Scorpio season. Some of you, the journey will not begin until Scorpio season. But, uh, yeah. It should be done by then. You should be on your full pathway by then. There's heavy transitional energy July, August, and it should be complete by Scorpio season. I believe. May is going to be, I don't think, a time of inaction. I, I don't think it's a time of action. I don't think May is a time of action. What I'm seeing are precursors in May that give you a stronger sense of direction. Okay? As I said, that Five of Pentacles correct. So, around Taurus season is when you're going to have very strong indications of what to do next. Okay? Mm -hmm. But until then, it's rest. Four swords. Here. Until then, it's rest. Four swords. You're going to have a stronger idea of direction. Come May. I do believe. Okay. Let's leave it here. Let me know if that helps you. Put it in the comments, yeah? Let's switch over to your intimate tarot now. You know what, Libra? I decided to slip into something a little more comfortable. Yours is the last of the day. 
and I'm tired. <clears throat> Let me tell you something, Gemini. I whooped my ass today. Oh my god. Let me tell you. But let's talk about you. Let's talk about Libra. If you're new to my channel and you'd like to know why I read sexual energy, it's in the description box, yeah? And for those of you who are OGs, welcome back. What's going on? Show me that Libra sexual energy, please. Your career was very interesting. Very interesting. There you are. Right on the split with the Ten of Swords. What's going on, honey? Show me what I need to see, please, for that Libra and sexual energy. Show me what I need to see, please, for that Libra and sexual energy. I did see, in all honesty, I try to leave the personal stuff out of the career as much as possible, unless it's a direct influence. Um... It was very interesting because if somebody kept hitting my peripheral like this, but they kept falling off. So part of that radical change might be the person you're tied to, but I didn't want to fully immerse myself into it. I just saw you making radical change for your own good and your own sense of direction, so good for you. Show me what I need to see, please, for that Librian sexual energy. Show me what I need to see, please, for that Librian sexual energy. Show me. Do one more. Yes, pay attention to April, May. Please. What's going on, please? Show me that labor and sexual energy. I'm seeing calendar references. All right. Recent past for that sexual energy. Um, the hanged man. Sexual energy is suspended. Might have some Pisces in your chart. Could be dealing with one. Sexual energy is suspended. For some of you, it feels like a sacrifice. It's interesting. They rename everything in this deck. Okay? But yes, the hanged man is called sacrifice. Some of you consider it a sacrifice um, to suspend your sexual energy at this time. We'll see why. Or perhaps your sexual energy is simply suspended. You're not doing nothing. <laughs> but also, it could be that you're not doing nothing with somebody else. We'll see. Hmm. I don't know. What's the current situation? Page of Swords. Talking to somebody, maybe. Being a little curious. Justice. But you're crossing yourself. Why are you crossing yourself? Not allowing much communication at this time. You have your reasons. If you suspended your sexual energy or relationship energy, there you go. You're not trying to be too curious. You're not really signing off on your energy either. There's a page of swords here that suggests communication, that suggests looking into somebody, but then you cross yourself like, mm, I don't know about that. I don't know about that communication. I don't know about looking outwards. I don't know about being curious. I don't know. I'm not convinced. Who is surrounding? <laughs> ah, contemplation. Uh, this is the Hermit. Go the trippy Virgo. Healing. Of course. Are you refraining from talking to somebody? Go the trippy Virgo. Suspended all activity with this person until further notice, that kind of thing. Strengths. Balance. Temperance. Healing. Perhaps you're giving this connection space. Perhaps you're giving yourself space. Two healing cards, so it's not just you. Obstacles. Three cups connecting. Hmm, I should say. Connecting in a way that's easy. Rejoiceful. Without problems. A certain ease of connectivity. The future. Nine of Wands. Blockage. Chronic. What's going on, Libra? Page of coins underlying all this. Very little investment. I can see that. The question is why. Now, if you're off the market, you're off the market. Here's the thing. Someone else is in here with you. That's 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 the curious bit. And it feels like you're prohibiting yourself from talking to this person. Okay. Show me what I need to see, please. What's going on? Show me what I need to see, please. What's going on for Libra? Show me. I'm going to get all up in your business now. Once you get me curious, it's all over. Once I once I raise an eyebrow, 
I start digging. I can't help it. It's my Scorpio nature. That's one of the best ways to hook a Scorpio is give us a mystery. I can't help it, honey. And you're giving me mystery energy right now, so on your own head be it. I'm just saying. If your energy was more straightforward, I wouldn't be so curious. So, I don't know what I'm about to see, but we're going to find out. Show me what I need to see, please, for Libra. Libra's like, get out of my business. No! That's not why we're here. Show me this hanged man, please, in the recent past. Show me the hanged man, please, for the recent... Okay, you got it, Chief. Strength. Oh. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Yeah. Uh-huh. I'm being strong. I'm being strong, Libra says. I've suspended my sexual energy and my emotions for somebody. I did this through conscientious choice. Strength. Pride. Two. You might have some Leo in your chart. Two cups is in reverse. I do not have a love contract with this person. I do not have love for this person. I do not have a soul bond with this person. And that might be true. That might be true. That could very well be true. And if you know you don't have love for somebody, don't force it. Right? But if you don't have feelings for this person, then why are you being so strong? Because let me tell you something. If you don't have love for somebody, it's really simple. You don't have to need strength for what you don't have. You understand? You don't need strength for what you don't have. If it's a no, it's a no. It's really simple. You consider it a sacrifice. Did you let someone go? Okay, fine. You say you don't love them anymore? You have to reinforce it? Okay. I respect that. Knight of Cups is underlying. Obviously this goes beyond sexual energy. You're being very complex with somebody. I don't have feelings for this person. I don't love them. Oh, but the fierceness of that strength. Suspend the sexual energy. Stay away from it. And the cups too. I don't have feelings for that. I don't. That's a loud protest, Libra. Page of Swords. Communication. Wanting to communicate. It would make you happy. Four of Wands. Page of Swords. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I prefer when I fully flip or hit the table. Red Tower reflects for life and I'm a real person, so let me tell you something. I'm going to call it like I see it. I do the real shit. Page of Swords. Show me. You're curious about somebody. You act like you ain't, but you are. Show me this page of swords. Show me this page of swords. Show me the page of swords. Show me this page of swords. Show me. Told you. Three of wands. Waiting. Waiting for that communication. You like to check in. You like to see how they're doing. You know? Feels good a little bit. The tower. Feels good a lot more than you give it credit for. Chair's being extra squeaky today. Those little moments of communication mean a lot. For somebody who doesn't mean anything to you. You crossing yourself. You tell yourself not to wait. And you tell yourself not to put so much emotionality into bare minimum communication. I agree with you. I do. I'm not trying to give you shit about that. That tells me you have reasonable expectations of yourself, which I agree with. That's a good thing. You're trying to enforce boundaries. Okay? You are. But every time you get the barest of messages, it immediately jolts you into this space of longing and desire. Nothing wrong with that. You're crossing yourself. Justice. Show me justice. Show me justice, please. The world, Libra says, that cycle's closed. Or it shouldn't be open at all. That's why. I'm not going to open up that cycle of communication. I'm not going to open up that cycle of passion. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to encourage it. I'm not going to encourage it. Oh. Oh, but they are that special someone. Six of Cups. You are not giving your energy permission to actively engage with this person. Not fully. I see your reasons. 
kind of. A lot of it's coupled up with pride. Uh, what crosses you from completely closing this cycle or fully engaging with it is a, is a Six of Cups. Memories of the past, nostalgia, that person, that special person. That crosses you, kind of pisses you off. You don't know why you have such a strong reaction to this person. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. I know you don't want to. I know Libra doesn't want to have such a strong reaction to this person, but you do. Your emotions go along for the ride, even with the barest and simplest of communications, which you say don't engage in, Libra. <laughs> don't. Do not be a happy recipient of that message. Don't. It's page sort. Stop it. Stupid. I agree. I don't give much latitude or <laughs> appearance to pages either. Nor should you. You shouldn't live for pages. Absolutely. So I respect you for that. People live for fucking pages. In the modern world? Oh yeah. Fucking drool over their phones for pages and shit. Let me tell you. So I know you know better. Oh, but it's so pleasurable when it happens. I know. And it's also that special someone. Someone you've cycled over with before. Okay? You're being hard on yourself, in other words. You're enforcing boundaries that you feel you have to have when it comes to this person. But I don't want you to lie to yourself. They're either a contract you said you cannot have, so leave it alone, or you're trying to convince yourself that you're not in love with him. If you truly want to heal from a connection, you have to stop with the lie. Admit that you have love for somebody. And that's the first way you start healing, is by accepting the truth of it. You have love for someone, whether you like it or not. Only can we admit to the truths, can we accept them for what they are, heal from them, and move forward. But if you act like you don't have a love bond with somebody, you're going to get mixed results. I see the barest forms of communication really trigger you, that pulls something out of you that's so emotionally powerful, it defies your own logic, honey. You react so strongly and sincerely to the barest of communications. It's not an accusation. It just tells me that you've used strength to supplant healing. I understand you. I understand your method. I understand where it's coming from. I get it. I really do. But you're confusing strength with healing. Being strong on this person or this connection. You're doing a damn good job. You are. But don't you find it curious that the smallest form of communication snaps you back into the intensity of something that is really hard to define? Again, if there was no love here, you wouldn't need strength. Now, maybe it is a two of cups you cannot have. Perhaps it is an old attachment of the past that you might have looped around with before. But you are being very strong on yourself, and you are trying to set boundaries, so I will give you that. But the healing comes from accepting this as it was. Okay? This might have been the result, but accepting it for the way it was that's where real healing comes from. Okay, the one that surrounds you, Contemplation, Hermit, could literally be Virgo. Show me the one surrounding. Show me the one surrounding. Show me the one. I see you're trying to be very strong and that you keep the communication bare minimum, if anything. Um, when you do receive something from them, it's explosive in nature. In other words, it still impacts you. So again, it doesn't matter how strong you are. One of my favorite comedians, Ron White, who was making fun of uh, <laughs> uh, people who try to withstand horrific weather conditions, like say in a hurricane, and they they do it, they justify it by saying, "But I run 20 miles a week, or I'm very very fit. I exercise every day." And he's like, "Well, that doesn't mean anything if you have a you know a stop sign in your spleen." And I agree with you. I can see that you're very strong willed, but there are things that are outside of your control and they still affect you no matter how strong you are. That's my point. Show me 
<laughs> How many miles you run a day doesn't mean anything if you have a stop sign in your spleen because let me tell you, the hurricane is stronger than you are and it's a force of nature that's bigger than you are. So I know you're strong. But every time the incoming message comes in, it affects you deeply. Deeply. Okay. Contemplation. Show me the one surrounding. They're either a deep thinker, they're terribly withdrawn, or they're a healer. Let me see. They could be very patient. Okay, show me. Mm, five of Wands. They're fighting themselves. And it's hard to heal when you're fighting yourself. The sun trying to understand with some tension attached to their energy about what makes them happy. The sun. I don't know that it has... I'm seeing their energy very much detached from yours. So again, suspension, sexual energy, emotional energy, everything is there. Okay. Uh, this seems to be a very separate process from you. I can tell that you two are not terribly engaged, not that way, again, sexually or otherwise. I do believe they occasionally outreach to you. It's they themselves that are struggling to literally understand what would make them happy under the sun. A part of their mind is very, very practical in nature, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, and they seem to be struggling with understanding warmth and happiness and where they want it to come from. They fight themselves on this, so it's taking a very long time for them to heal about whatever that is and how it's in conjunction with you and if they're able of change or if they're capable of change. Okay, there's something about this person that desires upper level energy, but they have a hard time obtaining it. They desire for change, but they don't know how to access it. And they have big picture concepts about spiritual commitment, hopes and wishes, but not enough put in to generate change. Okay, so they are contemplating many, many things. All right. I do see their energy is trying to heal, particularly in this respect to what makes me warm, what makes me feel good, what opens my energy in a way that is thriving and under the sun and is sensual in nature and beautiful and benefits me. They fight themselves on this. So this can be a very long process. Like I said, I see you've already kind of forcibly given this person up. Okay, so your two energies, as far as I can tell, are entirely separated, at least in the physical world, sexually speaking or otherwise. Okay, balance that is temperance again, trying to heal you as well, but probably for different reasons. They have their system, you're going to have yours. Show me balance, please. Show me temperance. You have very strong sexual feelings for this person. You have very strong emotional reasons for this person. And for that very reason, you are very strict on yourself. Show me. Balance, please. It is under your strengths. You are actively trying to heal. Show me the balance, please. Temperance. You might have some Sag in your chart. Show me balance, please. Show me balance. No. Show me balance, please. Four of Cups. You are trying to pull yourself out of this emotional lethargy. Very good. I'm very proud of you for that. You are trying to heal that. You are trying to come to terms with their secret thoughts, the Seven of Swords. Okay, good. You're being very confrontational about your emotional and mental spaces. That's excellent. Very good. I'm very happy with that. No. Show me what I need to see, please. Anything else about what it is Libra is trying to heal from? The pain. Uh, this is what's making it a little difficult. How much this has actually affected you. And this is where your pride's kicking in. Okay, it's under the moon. Um, it is a missed opportunity in love, and that what really hurts you the most, so it goes into the moon. So while you are doing a damn good job of trying to understand why you're unhappy and your secret thoughts, your seven of swords, your doubts, your fears, you are literally trying to heal from these things, but the thing you need to tackle the most is the thing that you're avoiding the most. That this impacted you so much, you had to turn it upside down. Okay? That missed opportunity in love, that's what hurts the most. That's where the biggest sting is coming from. It is a missed opportunity in love. It is regret. Okay? We must remember the Five of Cups. Three are spilled out, two remain. That's the two you had to turn upside down. It's a missed opportunity in love. This is what stings the most. This is by far the easiest to heal from. You can find other things to make you happy. You can find other things to distract you. You can find ways to address your doubts. Be getting all up in that moon energy. So people ask me all the time. I say it as a point of reference because I feel like it's extremely common in tarot and everyone knows what the moon is. Apparently that's not true. So just to take a moment, this is our illusions, our delusions, 
the ocean is vast and endless and you can bury everything under it. In other words, it's our emotional depths, the stuff that we fear the most that goes under the moon or is uncomfortable. This missed opportunity in love is what stings the most. I see you're trying to heal. This is the one. This is where the biggest throb in your heart space is coming from. Okay? Three of Cups is the obstacles. We could not bring this together. That's pretty apparent. Okay? It feels like a missed opportunity. Show me this Three of Cups, please. Show me this Three of Cups, please. Is the obstacle? Show me. Show me the obstacles, please. Is the Three of Cups. Not being able to celebrate naturally, fluidly, coming together organically, be it emotionally, sexually, or a combination of the two, most likely. Show me the Three of Cups, please. You know. I understand and understand and appreciate the organic process very well. So you couldn't come together in a way that was cohesive or committed. It could be that somebody is in a relationship and that would explain all this straight away. You let me know as you see fit or you feel comfortable. But that would explain a lot why you said, I have to turn this soul bond upside down. They're not a contract. I can't claim it. It's not mine. Reject this love energy. Okay, and you had to be strong on it. If somebody is in a commitment, it could literally be a Taurus as well. It doesn't have to be that. But uh, coming together spiritually, which is what the hair font represents, as well as the real world committed energy. He represents both planes of existence. So being able to come together emotionally, spiritually, sexually, physically, it was a big problem. Okay? And it could be that this was a potentially a third party, and so we shut it down. Okay, that would also explain their intense struggle to understand what makes them happy and why. And why do they have such a hard time connecting to it? A big part of their practical side or comfort energy gets in the way. Um, particularly that sense of security. I'm not trying to downplay security, but when we cling to what we know, then that's all we know. So, there you go. And that would explain everything. You cycled that with this person before. Okay. Um, something like that. Anything else, please, about the obstacles? A magician, it wasn't for lack of want for either of you, spiritually or emotionally or otherwise, but it was a bad job. Okay, a lot of sexual energy here, a lot of spiritual energy here, too. You two are connected on more than one plane of existence, I promise. Which did not make this any easier, hence the emphasis on your strength and why you're being so hard on yourself. Okay? Are we clear? See? Real person, real tarot. Nine of Wands is the outcome, please. I don't know how much of this will change or if the tension between you two will remain. Let's see. Nine of Wands, please, is the outcome. Queen of Cups. Okay. You are blocking your heart space from moving on for the time being, for the interim. And I actually have to agree with you because you're not ready. That's why. Not that you're not worthy of new love. Of course you are. Not that you're not worthy of commitment. Of course you fucking are. Not that you're not worthy of a spiritual bond. Of course you fucking are. It's because you're not ready. You're not ready. You're not there yet. You know in your heart space you should move forward. So you know. You know that. You know it. You feel it right here, baby. It's right there. There's going to be some resistance to that for a while. But it won't always be like this. What happens to them, I don't know. I don't know. Your emotional energy will move forward. Your sexual energy will move forward, just not today. Your heart space will expand again, and that's when you're going to get your inclination to move forward. Your desire to block, okay, Nine of Wands, is going to come down eventually, and you will move forward into a more fluid heart space, okay? And um, especially if you have Cancer Scorpio Pisces in your chart, your heart will tell you when it's time to move on. Until then, you're blocking movement, but you will get there. What else, please? For some of you, there is a literal translation here. I told, I was just about to fucking say it. Thank you. I was just about to say it. <laughs> I was about to say, for some of you, 
When you do move on, you're going to meet someone sooner rather than later. Boom. I thought I was going to see the Ace of Wands. I got the King of Wands. I may as well be the same thing. Um, no, but someone who's very excited for you. Um, I was about to say, as soon as you do move on, I swear to God, you're going to meet someone sooner rather than later. I knew that was going to happen. Oh, I saw it. Could be Leo too. Aries Leo Sag or someone who straight up has ambition towards you. Their energy is directed or reflecting back on you, but it's based on the premise of movement. So as your heart space is willing to open up and move forward, boom, here comes the King of Wands. Bam. Whoa. Hmm. Why? It's provoking. Oh, because you're gonna you're gonna wonder if you have healed yet. Well, only you can determine that. So it's gonna provoke a little bit of your anxieties because it goes back to healing. Am I going to be ready? Because you've done such a hard job. I don't know. You'll know in time. You never really know until you're ready when you're confronted with it, and then you start to engage with it. Okay, and it's you really won't know until you start engaging. But I do know you're gonna meet someone sooner rather than later in the process of moving on. Uh, once the Nine of Wands, the defensiveness and blocking comes down, your heart space moves forward. That's your first marker of moving forward. You're going to meet someone sooner rather than later. For some of you, it is literally Sagittarius season, and for some of you, September. Okay, anything else, please? For those of you... For some of you, there is a reversal here. I'm seeing two sides of a coin. Um... For those of you who have strong Libra in your chart, possibly. You will move forward to someone else when you have healed and know what you want. Some of your energy is going outward in reflection. It's like double mirrors, guys. It's really hard to distinguish sometimes. Um, but when you know what you want, you will move forward to the correct person. It could be a Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Some of your energy is going outward. Some of you, it's going to someone else, and it will meet them appropriately. But it's only when you know what it is that you want, and that you feel you've healed and adequately recovered, can you move towards this person who represents heart space. Does that make sense? Okay. I hate the vague shit. I really do. But there are some points of specificity here. What happens to this person, I do not know. Neither do you. It's not for lack of the meaning of the Of course, they mean a lot to you, honey. Of course, they mean a lot to you. I see how you react to him, and that's one of the reasons why you're so strong. I'm sure they occasionally drop a message to you, or you might occasionally look in on them against your better judgment, and it jolts you. Like the, the shock of it, the shock of the feeling, and how time can pass, and it can still impact you that much. Uh, well, that's what these little connections do, okay? But it's not your fault, okay? Just continue to be strong, but understand that your strength is better served in healing as opposed to just having a strong will in and of itself. And the biggest thing you need to tackle by far is accepting the fact that this is a missed opportunity in love. It's outside of your control. The biggest obstacles was wanting more and not getting more spiritually, emotionally, sexually, and otherwise. Okay, honey? And if it was one of those things where it would require a third party, then there you go. That explains a lot. For others of you, the hair font in this context simply rep um, represents not being able to bring things together spiritually or in a committed plane of existence either. Okay? It wasn't for lack of want, but the want didn't go anywhere. Not successfully. Not with that three cups. <sighs> but yeah, your energy turns around remarkably when you stop showing resistance and you, you feel like you can comfortably let your walls down, you smack into somebody real quick. Or, if it's in the reverse, you smack into someone real quick and it's on purpose too. <laughs> it's confrontational too about whether or not I'm ready to heal. I don't know and I'm not going to know until I try, so fuck it, I'm going to put myself out there. Kind of like that. So the, both of you might have some labor placements. Act. Oh, that would explain it, wouldn't it? If you both had some... Oh. If you both had Libra placements, I don't just mean sun. Moon rising, especially Venus. Um, okay, that would actually explain a lot if you both have Venus and your various placements, but not necessarily your sun. Okay. Okay, that would explain why I'm seeing a dual reflection then. Oh, that makes sense. 
Okay, sorry honey, it takes me a minute. We, we get there, we get there eventually. Okay, let's do some time checks, yeah? This one's remarkably straightforward. Honey, just the sooner you can open up your heart space to the fact that this is a missed opportunity of love and it's outside of your control, the sooner you can move forward. It is by far your biggest point of hurt. Okay, you're doing a fantastic job of being strong and I applaud you for it. Use that same strength towards healing and not just Libra be strong, Libra be strong. Don't look at them, don't talk to them, don't respond. Take it the next step beyond that. Devote that same sense of strength towards your healing. And then after that, your energy opens up rather quickly. Okay? And I swear to God, you smack right into somebody. And you're like, I don't know if I'm ready for this. That's your first literal response. I don't know if I'm ready for this. I know. <laughs> you know? That's what I'm saying. That's, that's the benefit of healing, honey. That's the benefit of healing. Wow. So I was like, I gotta get on that Libra, or Libra's like, I gotta get on that, just about ready to say, that water sign, that Cancer Scorpio Pisces, specifically Scorpio. I'm telling you, for some of you, you have Libra in your placements. It's not your dominant. So I'm seeing a dual reflection of mirrors. Some of your Libras are going outwards to other people as soon as you stop blocking what it is that you truly want and you understand your healing and you understand what makes you happy. And for others of you, you're on the receiving end of a massive love energy. It's a very strong connection with somebody who is emotionally mature. And it's a new investment in love. Page of Pentacles. It's a real one too. It starts out small become something real very quickly if you allow it and if you're ready and if you're healed don't rush yourself for some of you that literal investments coming in pages I got pages talking to each other but in a way that's productive uh, I would tell you if it wasn't productive straight away um, like this is not productive and you know it you gotta keep your eye on it or the the incoming messages impact you way too much this is productive communication, uh, and it could be a new investment literally by the next water sign. The next water sign is Cancer season, and that is June, late June to July, and then upwards to Scorpio season. Um, wow. For some of you may, possibly. Five of Swords is also five weeks from now, possibly. I know. You don't feel good about that Six of Cups. You love them, but you don't feel good about it. It's like you're setting yourself up for self-sabotage or something like that. There it is again. The Five of Swords to the Six of Cups. Yeah. Yeah. You love them, but you want to set yourself up for failure and you don't want to manipulate and you don't want to be manipulated. Things like that. Okay. Manifestation. Show me the Magician. You want to kind of be careful with that. I know you want to wait out of this pain to exit it sooner rather than later. Honey, we all do. But if you skip the processes, if you think, Libra, honey, if you think the extent of healing is just being strong on yourself, then you are critically neglecting this moon energy. And this is by, by good job that you are working on all your bullshit thoughts, the things that made you unhappy, the things you said and didn't say and blah, blah, blah. You're cleaning that up. But this is the surface shit. This is the deep down stuff. This is where it really fucking hurts. It's a missed opportunity in love. Okay, that's so don't don't be in such a rush to bypass the pain process. Allow yourself to feel it. Okay, if you have to go out of your way to turn your cups up, that upside down for somebody, I promise you. And this is you going out of your way to do this. That means it takes strength and conviction. So that means to me by default that you felt a lot more for this than you meant to or intended to. Okay, so don't try to bypass the process. It is a missed opportunity in love and there is nothing you could do about it. They are where they are. You are where you are. Move forward, you are rewarded. Okay. Okay. You know this. Anything else, please? Okay, there you go. Commit to the cycle. Be the emperor. Commit to the cycle. Commit to the star pathway. Very good. The Emperor, be strong, commit to the cycle, closing it out, making sure it's closed, be insistent about that as the Emperor, I have to decide what's best for me, I agree with you, 
and you will continue on your star pathway. Yes, I agree. Okay, that's enough, Libra. I hope that obviously this went way beyond sexual energy. I Do I really have to point out that there was sexual energy here? Of course there fucking was. All right? Of course there was, there is. And that's one of the things that shocks you so fucking much. When you experience this person, even on the smallest forms of communication, how much you feel in your sexual energy is part of that ride of how you experience them. It's not just the emotion. It's not just your pride. Your sexual energy is tagging along too. And when you experience one of your quadrants being pinged emotions, your sexual energy gets pinged too. Okay, they're all along for the ride in this. That's why I do sexual energy. People have no idea how much it impacts them. That's enough. Libra, put in the comments as you see fit. You'll be okay. I see it. You'll be okay. It's a missed opportunity in love. We all have them. This one just happened to be particularly strong. Okay? Take care. Be well.